Hola, Galeras. <laughs> it's me, Jaws Blake. That face. I've been working on all these different after kind of little projects. I had this dream about making this image, this heart. It kind of all connects into the story in which I was kind of doing like a this, this whole thing uh, when making this. I wanted to tell the story of like the children in cages and how they're like little birds and their mothers. And I, the first thing that thought in my life was like reproduction, but I didn't want to like just be weirdly reproductive with it. I wanted to have like a lot of symbolism and a lot of like kind of stark, strong, powerful motions. And so I just kind of kept going with it. And I felt like it's just really beautiful. I love that brush too. Like that brush just, something about using a large brush on a large canvas. It's just got this like pull and push and it just controls so much. And I think maybe that's what it's about. Maybe it's about the control aspect. There's so little parts of the whole topic that feel like you have any control. And so I don't want anybody ever to kind of feel like it's okay to take that control away. So I just let it kind of breathe itself into existence to scratch itself uh, under the kind of the whoosh and the, the f of the brush as it hits and it goes. And I kept thinking about all these times I talked to all these kind of professors and all these kind of people who do painting and they do all these different types of paintings and everything and they were thinking to me anyways that they're saying you know I love what you make and I love what you do but like maybe there's a way to create things and fill more of the void leaving the open spaces leave so much for the eye to just kind of miss which is funny, because like I had thought for a while, like I needed to pull back maybe, that I was doing too much. Um, I was doing such like a clutter fest of all these different colors and kind of textures. And uh, yeah, it was just kind of funny. I didn't expect to get such good advice from like a college professor. I'm not in college, obviously. I'm almost 40. I've been painting for a very long time. So it was nice to kind of just have like a an actual discussion with an artist and I've just kind of been working on that ever since my babies my Tom my mall the old dog And my mochi, my little ball of crazy. Rare moments where she's not running around yelling. Hola, galeras. It's me, Joss Blake. How's it going? As you see, I just finished that painting, so I'm excited. I didn't. I don't feel as as jazzed as I used to feel about finishing paintings, but maybe it's because I've just done so many paintings now. Someone told me once that was like a humble brag. I don't feel like it is, cause like, I just paint a lot. And that's what I do. I am El Pintor, the painter. So, or La Gama, the line. Or the Ink King, or, there's a lot of stuff. So some of you may have seen, I made some hoodies and shirts. Please uh, fill your, your sack with those. Um, they help, plus it'll be nice for the fall. I'll be doing well. I miss people. A little bit. Not as much. I'm in a rainstorm. It's weird how this just makes me laugh. That's just funny. I've always liked rainstorms. Even when they were like scary and I was a kid. Like they were just interesting. And to be honest, I don't even know why, honestly. They're just weird. But they're they're funny to me. I don't know. It always felt like the world was like breathing, breathing in water while it was going on. I literally don't even know if that makes sense. 
but it feels like it should. I'll show you what it looks like outside. Look at all that beautiful rain, baby. It's just unnecessary, necessary. The wet. The wet is real. We used to surf and stuff like this. Very stupid. <laughs> but it felt really cool. Those waves would just crash and boom and you would just be... You'd just be there. Dancing. Jeez, that's such a fucking throwback. I remember when I used to just do all these. I did them so quickly and so many of them. I had to do maybe like a thousand of them in a year. And there was no reason behind it, I just did. It's kind of funny how that works out. You just feel like big about something. And so you make it. I think the funny thing people have asked me recently is how come you don't put videos out on Fridays anymore? Because I work on Fridays now. I used to not work on Fridays. Now I work on Fridays. I would much rather be at home talking to you or having contemplative conversations with Tom. My little shadow right here, little loaf. He's very, very astute. He has conversations with me about everything. Why does the world have to be around? What's that smell? I'm sorry to everyone alone right now. I know you say you don't mind, but so many months have gone by. It's gotta be kind of crazy. I'm sorry. I'm thinking about you. I know you're amazing. You're amazing. Chef's kiss. I stole that from my friend Lisa. She says it. It's hilarious. So now I say it because it's hilarious. God, just the colors in these are always just so crazy. Like, where was my mind? How was I coming about so vivid and crazy? I'm honestly jealous of this one. <laughs> I just, I almost think of it like it was a different book. Like he was just so wild and just made magical. I mean, I think I do cool stuff now, but I wonder where did that guy go? Like, he's still here, but...